In this video, we want to solve the differential equation y double prime plus 9y equals cosecant 3x. Let's assume the solution is proportional to e lambda x and let's solve the homogeneous differential equation. And now we can substitute y equals e to lambda x. Taking the second derivative of that, we get lambda squared times e to lambda x and then plus 9e e lambda x equals 0. Both terms have an e lambda x, so let's factor that out. And we're left with lambda squared plus 9. We know e to lambda x is never equal to 0, so we can divide both sides by that. And we're left with lambda squared plus 9 equals 0. Subtracting 9 on both sides, we get lambda squared is negative 9. And then the square root gives us plus or minus 3i. So we can come up with a solution, which will be y equals c1 times e to 3ix plus c2 e to negative 3ix. Now we can use Euler's identity. So Euler's identity says e to the a plus bi is equal to e to the a times cosine b plus i sine b. a for us here is going to be 0 because it's 0 plus 3ix and 0 minus 3ix. So e to the 0 is just 1. So I'm not even going to bother writing that out. So b the, for the first one is going to be 3x. So that's why we have c1 times cosine 3x plus i sine 3x. And then for the second one, we have c2 cosine. We're technically going to plug in negative 3x. But cosine of negative x is just cosine of x. So that's, uh, that's that. And then sine of negative x is negative sine x. So when I plugged in negative 3x, the negative came out in front here. Now at this point, I can factor out the cosine 3x. And we have c1 plus c2 is a coefficient. And then for sine 3x, we have i times c1 minus c2 c1 and c2 is just a constant, as well as i times c1 minus c2. So both of these are constants. And so we can just replace it with a new constant, let's say c1 for, the, for cosine 3x and c2 for sine 3x. OK, next step is to determine a particular solution by method of undetermined coefficients. So we're going to list out the basis solution. So we have y sub a is equal to cosine 3x and y sub b equals sine 3x. Now we want to compute the Ronskian for those two. So we're going to look at the determinant. First we put in cosine 3x and then below it we want to take the derivative of cosine 3x. And then to the right here we have sine 3x and then take the derivative of sine 3x. So the derivative of cosine 3x is negative 3 sine 3x and the derivative of sine 3x is 3 cosine 3x. So now we take the determinant, which we have is 3 cosine squared 3x plus c sine, 3 sine squared 3x. And here we can factor out the 3 to get 3 times cosine squared plus sine squared. And then don't forget it's 3x. And so this thing is just 1. So it's 3 times 1, which is 3. So the determinant is 3. In other words, a wrong scheme. Okay, now we're going to let f of x be cosecant of 3x, which is what we have on the right side of the differential equation. We want v sub 1 of x to be negative integral f of x times y sub b over the wrong scheme dx. And then v sub 2 of x is equal to the integral of f of x times y sub a over the wrong scheme times dx. And our particular solution is going to be of the form v1x times v, uh, y sub a x plus v sub 2x plus y sub b x. All that's left to do is find v sub 1 and v sub 2. So first finding v sub 1, f of x is cosecant 3x. From the previous slide, we let y sub b equal sine 3x. And then the Ron scheme we computed was 3. So cosecant times sine are reciprocals of each other. So they're going to cancel because you have 
cosecant is 1 over sine 3x. And then when you multiply that by sine 3x, these are going to cancel. So then we're just left with negative integral 1 over 3 dx, which is negative 1 third x. B sub 2, we just uh, we use f of x. And then this one was y sub a, which we said is cosine 3x. And then over the Wanskian, which was 3. Cosecant over cosine. Cosecant is 1 over sine. So I can just rewrite that as cosine over sine with the 1 third factored. And here you can use uh, u substitution. So if you let u equals sine 3x, du is 3 cosine 3x. So then du over 3 is cosine 3x dx. So this whole thing now is just du over 3, and then this is just u. So it's basically du over u, which is the natural log of u, and u is sine 3x. And then you have 1 third times 1 third is 1 ninth. So that's how I got this answer. So now we just put everything together. And so the particular solution is negative 1 third x times cosine 3x plus 1 ninth ln of sine 3x times sine 3x. Now we combine both solutions. So originally we solved for the homogeneous differential equation, which was the first two terms. And then the last two terms are the particular solution. And so this is our solution.